just about everyone has a scar and often a story to go with it. But there are ways to prevent scars from forming. Some work and some are just wives' tales. Our senior medical reporter, Dr. Jay Adlersberg, sorts through the best and the worst ideas when it comes to healing. You can use a laser to make a scar disappear, but we're getting ahead of ourselves in preventing scars. Prevention certainly doesn't begin at the supermarket. We can debunk lemons as a scar reducer. There's folklore that lemon juice helps, but it probably hurts. I would not recommend using onions or lemon juice and scarring. You want to use something that's bland as opposed to something that's potentially irritating. Shopping for soothing? How about honey? That sounds soothing. Again, bunk. I don't recommend using something very sticky right after you've had a surgical procedure, especially in a very fresh wound. We're talking about little wounds like Amelia Whitney's after a mole removal. I didn't want a big, ugly scar on my leg. To larger scars from surgical procedures and reducing any scars about keeping it moist. Here's your grandmother's moisturizer. Vaseline, and it's one folktale that's medically true. Vaseline? I wasn't necessarily skeptical, but it seemed like a very simple solution. Most times, simple is best. Vaseline is oily. It keeps moisture in and keeps germs out. Aquaphor is another inexpensive grease. They're all designed to prevent hard scab formation, which can lead to ugly scars. Antibiotic ointments are greasy and they work, but they may make you allergic to the antibiotic. Vitamin E oil is also good news for the skin and may reduce inflammation in a scar. But the Vaseline is your basic starter. Lauren Ditzian used it first on a mole removal, then for a cyst removal on her face. He also suggested I use Vaseline, and I don't have In fact, I can't even see it. This is Dr. Jay Adlersberg, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.